back to my channel hope you guys doing good today i'm going to discuss about sql server temp database issues okay so uh, normally we have seen lot of issues regarding the temp db okay so one of the issue we can discuss today uh, regarding the size issue okay so how we can sort out and what is the uh, cause behind it okay so before starting the session i would request each and everyone who are newly joined on my channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to share please press the bell icon uh, you will get the new video notification okay and don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video press the like button as well okay so uh, normally uh, when we are getting the temp db issues okay so we when we start the troubleshooting so uh, i can share with uh, one of the region uh, one of the scenario we can say that uh, to you guys actually so uh, one of the temp database uh, for a particular instance okay uh, is getting uh, full although it's have a sufficient you know uh, uh, space provided uh, to temp database but uh, uh, we can see that like you know the consumption is too high okay so when we start uh, digging the things actually so we can see the server level instance level everything is fine in the server level cpu is normal memory is normal uh, okay but still we are seeing uh, you know the temp consumption is too high okay the you are getting the alert of the you know the temp database file is getting full okay and that they really need to worry although it's in production database definitely you need to check very 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 carefully okay so uh, the thing is actually when we start the digging these things uh, so if you are seeing uh, you know the sufficient space is provided based on the application demand okay but although it's getting full so when we when you start digging the things so what need to do to check for this there is a parameter called you know i will share this script to you guys also it's uh, very much helpful there is a parameter called the version store okay this need to really really check whether whenever you getting then uh, alert to you know the disk file is consuming that for the temp database blindly you can go and you can check the version store okay what is the version store parameter is saying actually so you can utilize this script i will provide in a description you will get the details the version store how much it's you know occupied the meaning of version store is basically i can tell you uh, you know so see uh, the transaction when it's running and which is not committed okay and with the data which the isolation level the you know the read committed isolation level so they are storing their snapshot in a temp okay which is not committed yet okay i'm not going to go to details about the transaction uh, isolation level okay just uh, just for as of now okay just try to understand uh, whenever the transaction is read committed okay isolation level so transaction which is running from past or not committed yet okay that is you know uh, updating by the row versioning in a temp database okay so some transaction when you are seeing this uh, the version storage is occupied high uh, okay uh, here you will see the out of let's assume out of 100 gb temp database you can see 90 95 percent is occupied by the version store then definitely you can see uh, you can tell like that uh, you know there is a transaction something on a particular instance which is you know having a problems okay then you need to figure out uh, which transaction so you need to figure out all the active transaction and you can use the any command uh, to you know finalize the active uh, all the transaction or running on a particular instance and you can see uh, whatever the problematic transaction which is running from the past like three days four days and which is not committed yet and it's also in a sleeping mode or maybe suspended session something like that then you need to figure out uh, the the queries against running with that particular transaction and you can check with the application owner this transaction is running from last four days and it's consuming huge version store you know row versioning uh, from the temp database so you need to figure out why either you can kill it from your side or you give the approval to kill as soon as you will kill the transaction you will see the temp database will be released okay you can see the version store again you can execute this script you will see the version store it will be clear 
okay there is a process to clear the you know this version stored so but sometimes few transaction is stuck in the sleeping mode or something in that case temp is getting full and you know in it's creating the space issues okay even you can see the for our sql maintenance job also if you if you guys uh, uh, noticed for the index rebuild jobs when it's running temp is getting too high because why because they are updating the row versioning in a temp database they are occupying highly temp space okay but as soon as our you know uh, the jobs completed it is re getting released so same thing if any transaction is running and then that transaction is you know occupying the train database space too high okay and if there is a problem happen and that transaction is not committed yet it's running from last four or five days so as soon as that transition will be clear that space will be allocated by the name of that transaction so that's the reason need to kill that those transaction as soon as you will kill those transaction uh, space will be released okay normally we have seen this issues in uh, recently uh, for the sql server always on okay where the database secondary is a you know a readable mode okay uh, so in that case you can go and check these uh, store version okay details definitely it will help you as soon as you will clear the transaction from the either the application side or based on the approval you can also kill the session then definitely it will release this issues and it will help okay so i will provide this script to details you also go in details i cannot cover all things for about the version restore whoever new in a sql server uh, just check about the version restore okay then you will have a more clarity on that okay thank you